Hi, it's WolfersDormCastle.com, and this is a tutorial on how to make 3D dungeon tiles, like for war games or medieval gaming, uh, tabletop gaming. And here's a um, here's a good look at the tiles. And it's actually it looks fantastic, but it's actually not a whole lot of um, techniques that you need to use to do something like this. And you just need a few materials, like uh, styrofoam. You know the styrofoam with the little pebbles in it? Can you see those little pebbles? Like this. See it? You know, the kind of stuff that when you buy a DVD player or something, it comes with the styrofoam. So that's the most of this is that. And maybe for some of the other sections, a little bit of foam board, which we know I work with a lot. And then some painting. So it's really fantastic, really wonderful. And I can't take credit for building this. Um, I, um, a professional artist did this for us, and his name is Ryan. So a big shout out goes to Ryan for building this. But um, I'm just, this is a tutorial on how to do this. And we're not going to do all of this. That takes too long. We're going to actually do, in this tutorial, Ryan's going to show us how he made this. Let's take a look here. See, this is the simple setup on how something like this is made. And he gives you the techniques. We give you the techniques on how to do that with the foam, how to cut it, how to paint it, how to assemble it, and something like that. So it's really fantastic. I love this. And it doesn't take that long. That's a couple hours. So let's launch you the tutorial on how to make 3D dungeon tile. And, um, of course, I mean, you don't have to use this for gaming. You can just use this because you want to make a castle or some castle terrain or something like that. It really looks terrific. Doesn't that look like it's plastic? It's not. This is really just foam. See it? Just, you know, really light, really inexpensive, and a lot of fun. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. If you have a question, leave a question. Um, if you're a subscriber, I very much appreciate you subscribing. And if you're not a subscriber, you might want to consider subscribing because I do a whole lot of different creative videos on all kinds of creative stuff. Uh, let's launch a tutorial on how to make 3D dungeon tiles. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chains, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model rockets, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, the first thing you do is you take your styrofoam and you cut yourself out some pieces. Measure out some pieces for what you want to make. And in, in the case of us, we're making a square for the base and two smaller walls. So we'll measure them out and cut them up. And this is uh, this styrofoam is about one inch thick. Now you can just go crazy with this, do all kinds of stuff. And the walls are not as thick as the floor, so we're cutting the walls in half. And you can use a lot of different things like uh, a knife. or a hot wire foam cutter like this. But you have a lot of flexibility in how you do all of this. Just have fun with it. Draw yourself out some designs maybe. So if you're going to be gaming with this and you want tiles, you know, grid those out with a marker, one inch squares. Now to cut them to look good as the floor, you use the knife at a 45 degree angle to cut out V-shaped slots like this. See it? That's going to make it look really good, particularly after you paint it. Out here. And now the, the grid pattern is done. This is the actual floor, and you'll see how this develops and looks really fantastic once it's done. Now we'll work a little bit on the walls, cut out the windows, and see how we hold the knife like that so you can see it. Because you want those to be a 90 degree angle to be perpendicular to the walls. You want nice clean cuts. Cut out those windows or doors or stuff like that. So really simple as that. We got a floor section and two wall sections that we're going to put together and paint. There we go. And you can age all of this. And I'll show you a little bit more of the aging by just uh, plucking away a little bit of the styrofoam to make it aged. If you want your dungeon to look aged around the windows and around the edges, even on the walls themselves. See, and we're aging the floor too. And you can use a knife and you can use your finger to pull away little bits of it. But that's a personal preference, but it does look really good to age it all. So now we're cutting stairs. There's a stair on each end of this, uh, each corner. So it's just a matter of doing the right cuts with an X-Acto knife. You have to first do some vertical cuts and then you cut away that section. And you repeat that until you have your full stair set. And 
But you can get really creative with the knives and the, the foam. You see how good that looks? Now along the walls, we have crenellations at the top, like turrets, like on a castle wall. So we cut out little blocks. And if you can, um, you might want to make them uneven, not exactly the same. That gives it a good ruined look. It's up to you. So let's put this thing together. A little bit of hot glue set on low setting. Um, you can use a lot of different kinds of glues for something like this, but you've got to test first because some glues will actually just eat away at the styrofoam. Then we glue it together. And you can see how quickly this has come together. Cut out the shapes, age it a little bit, glue them together, wipe away any excess glue, and you're, you're almost ready. Now some detail wick, but now we're going to glue those blocks down, those crenellations to the top. And this thing is looking terrific. Just about done. Building it. Now let's paint it. This is where the magic happens. Start out with a really thick layer of black paint. And we're using an acrylic. And really get it in the cracks and crevices. You don't want any of the white to show at all. You want to cover all of that. So really dab it in there. Get in the cracks and all the crevices. And cover the whole thing with black paint. And um, you want to let it dry before you do the next layer. And use a hairdryer if you want to speed up the process. Now you're going to see how amazing this is. This is called dry brushing. You have paint on your brush, but it's very dry. It's not wet and, it's not wet and runny. It's very dry on the brush. And then you just lightly cover it like this and see how it brings out the um, texture. and the, This is just wonderful. That's called dry brushing. And you can do this in several different layers. You can do one dry brushing layer with a black and white to make a gray. And then you add more white and do another layer on top of that. So you can do consistent layers. Just always let it dry between layers or else it'll run together. You can add a little brown, a little red. And see how that dry brushing brings out the texture of the styrofoam? That's just terrific. So that's it. It's almost like magic how we went from a piece of styrofoam to a little dungeon piece like this. Just take your time, have fun with it, and see how the black inside, the, the broken parts, shows out. So there you go, the finished uh, dungeon terrain. You can go crazy, do all kinds of different shapes. And I'll show you some here, right here. See, there's that piece that we just made. And then there's all kinds of other pieces. You can add on pieces, put them together, connect them together to make a playing surface. You know, you can make ruins, all kinds of stuff. Use your creativity and imagination just to make all kinds of stuff. And that's the techniques on how to do it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, you might want to subscribe. I do all kinds of creative stuff. And here's a few more videos from uh, my YouTube channel here and my lots more stuff on my website at stormthecastle.com.